For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. For the past nine days, massive protests against police brutality have been held across Nigeria. For the past nine days, Nigeria has witnessed massive protests against police brutality. Thousands took to the streets in a show of anger against the ever-increasing police violence. At least 10 people are reported to have been killed in police repression of the protest itself. The protesters are demanding the dissolution of the SARS units of the police and an end to all forms of police brutality in the country. The Federal Special Anti-Robbery Squad, or the SARS, was formed in Nigeria in 1992 to stop armed robberies. However, in the past decades, it has been accused of various crimes itself, including extrajudicial killings, torture, corruption, and robbery. The key demands of the protest include the immediate release of all arrested protesters, justice for those killed by police brutality and compensation for their families, an independent body to investigate and prosecute misconduct, independent psychological assessments and new training for dismissed SARS officers who want redeployment, and a pay rise for police so they are adequately compensated for protecting lives and property of citizens. The current round of protests started after video footage of SARS officers dragging and killing people went viral in early October. While the initial protests were small, the police responded with the use of heavy force to suppress the protesters. Tear gas and live fire were used against them at several places. In a new report titled Time to End Impunity, Amnesty International documents at least 82 cases of torture, ill treatment and extrajudicial execution by SARS between January 2017 and May 2020. Several well-known personalities, including British-Nigerian actor John Boyega and singer Davido, have come out in support of the protests. Under pressure, the government announced the dissolution of the SARS on October 11. While making the announcement, President Muhammadu Buhari also announced extensive police reforms in the country. However, the protests have not let up due to widespread mistrust among the people. Protesters argued that the government promised similar reforms on several occasions in the past as well. They have demanded a comprehensive review and investigation into the working of the entire police system, as well as punishment for those involved in criminal activity against the people. The apprehensions of the protesters were justified on Tuesday when the police announced the creation of an Alternative Special Weapons and Tactics Unit, or the SWAT. Protesters called it a replacement of SARS and an attempt to rehabilitate the accused police officers.